welcome back. Today's video, welcome back, it's not been the flipping adverts haven't just been on, have they? The main idea of this video is to inject a little bit of pink into this very grey bedroom, um, bedroom slash office room. It's where I do all my editing basically and have my Mac set up, but it's also a spare bedroom but nobody really stays so it's just, just has that look but yeah just in case anybody does stay you know it's the options there the whole theme for this room has always been grey I just wanted a grey room but I didn't really know what colour to put into it on top of grey to just stop it from being just all grey um I thought yellow might be a good idea I don't actually like the colour yellow um I think mustard yellow is definitely nicer than bright yellow so I thought I'd seen lots of pictures with grey and mustard yellow going together really really nicely so I thought okay then let's give this a go so I bought a, a yellow pillow I find that really hard to say yellow pillow to go into here and I used to put that right there um, on the bed and I had it for a while and I wasn't really feeling it and I didn't really want to buy anything else yellow so I thought I need to get rid of the yellow and inject another colour I have been a little bit against pink because pink is so girly I was just like I'm not really that generic super girly I'm gonna make everything pink kind of person but blush pink looks so nice with grey so I thought I'd give in a little bit and I thought blush pink it's not really you know it's not like I'm putting hot pink in the room it's blush pink it's quite a nude kind of blush pink theme and that is what this haul is about. Matalan is amazing for homeware. It's so beautiful. I've always wanted, wanted to get homeware items from Matalan. And I just caved and I went into Matalan and I bought pink things. I'm going to slot little clips of the items in the room so you can actually see how they fit into the room and how they make the room look because I won't really be able to show this very well in here. I don't know why I do it on that side. Okay, so this is a giant pink throw and it's so soft, it's beautiful. Now, it does have tassels at the end, which I'm not the biggest fan of, to be honest. I mean, the whole reason why I was updating my house this past year or so has been to get rid of old fashioned things like tass tassely lampshades and wood chip wallpaper, but tassely pink throw modern hopefully <laughs> I think I think I can get away with these tassels I would have preferred it without I think but now I've seen it on the bed I actually really like it it's just at first I was just a bit like ah uh, tassels Jim's not gonna be impressed with tassels first of all I'm throwing pink at him and then tassels as well he's just going to be like get them out of this house immediately but the thing is yeah, my whole thing was that this room, I was thinking it's kind of my room where, I, like, Jim doesn't really spend any time in here unless he's sitting on the bed while, with his laptop whilst I'm editing to keep me company. But it's kind of my room, so I thought, I'm going with a blush pink, whether he likes it or not. Anyway, when I showed him everything, he was actually like, it's nice. Who said I didn't like pink? I think I've just drilled it into my head that I don't want pink, so he's not gonna like it, but he actually liked it, so he didn't have anything against pink. I, it was me. <laughs> anyway, this giant throw is so delicious. Ah, oh. yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this, apart from it's a big pink throw, and my aim is to have it on the bottom of the bed and just add a little bit of texture to this, like, oh, that's my chair. Um, very plain grey bedding. Needs a throw, really needs a throw. Also, this bed isn't very attractive. It's a very old bed and the bottom of it is um, like cream and swirls and I, I just wanted to cover the bed with something so the quilt cover doesn't come all the way down but this throw I can kind of throw over it and it will cover the bottom of the bed so it looks a little bit more attractive. I think what I might do, because I can't remember any of the prices of these things, is if I can find the link to them on Matalan 
I will put that in the description box and you can click on those links and have a little look at how much they cost if you are after getting one of these. But yeah, beautiful. Just the shade of the colour is perfect. It's it's practically nude colour, it's just got a little bit of pink tinge to it and it's just oh, beautiful. Goes so nice with grey. So I do have a little bit of a an obsession with cushions. So I bought a cushion, a cushion, I bought three cushions. Um, one of them I thought I'd stick to that, um, this would kind of match the throw. So this one is a plain blush pink cushion and it's just a nice little size and I thought three, I don't know why, I have, I don't know, three cushions seem to be the amount that I want on a bed. Um, I've always been, they, I've always thought, why do people have cushions on beds? Because when you get into a bed, you just like throw the cushions off. They're not actually needed. They're just there for the look. I never thought I'd be one of those people, but I am one of those people now, apparently. So pink cushion. I had to get a gray cushion because I thought, just feed all the colors in basically. So one pink, one gray. And I just really like the texture of these. Just so simple, really simple and they keep their shape really well as well. I love these square cushions that do keep their shape. Um, and then this one I thought was a nice idea to go in the middle of them both because it picks up the grey and the pink and puts it all into one and I think that kind of combines the colours nicely to, yeah, I'm trying to pretend that I know what I'm talking about interior design wise but I don't. I just... I know what I think looks nice and I think that works. So the back of this cushion is just a plain grey and the front of it has these little um, triangles on, triforces if you play Zelda and yeah I thought Jim would appreciate the triforces. Another thing that I really wanted to get was plants for my house. Um, I'm not great at having real plants that I have to water in the house because I don't really know much about them and I don't even really know which ones don't take too much to actually keep alive and things. You know when you buy flowers, they just die, don't they? They look pretty, but they die like two days later. Or is that just me? I don't know. I've got a mini plant in the kitchen that has lasted about two years or something. It's about two years old and that's fine because that doesn't take much watering. Um, I did have a cactus. Did that die eventually? I don't know kill the cactus apparently as well <laughs> so yeah you can imagine I'm not really great with live plants but I wanted to inject a little bit of green and a little bit just to make it feel homely I just think plants look so nice in homes and they just make that just feel a little bit more homely especially in a grey modern kind of room you want to keep that homely feel as well um, so yeah I thought I'd buy some plants and Matalon have an amazing range of yeah all homeware as you know but plants especially um, fake plants so now, I wasn't really going to go down the whole marble route either because I just hate, I just have this battle in my head against being like everybody else. I don't, I don't want to go crazy on the marble theme because everybody's loving marble at the moment, but this is just one little subtle thing because I have to admit, marble is nice. <laughs> so I went for this. And I really like the spikiness of it. It's very strange to talk how much talk about how much I love a plant, but yeah, it's got a little gravel just in the bottom there. Um, you don't have to water it, which is great. It's it's not really spiky. It won't hurt you if it fell on it. Why are you gonna fall on it? I don't know what I'm on about. Anyway, I like the spikiness of the plant. I like the fact that it's green and purple. It's not just green. It has that little bit of purple in it. This, I think, is going on the windowsill of the bedroom. We have another plant. It's quite a pink pot. It's quite bright pink and it's kind of like crackly. Um, I don't know what kind of material to describe that as, but it's a bit silly getting a fake cactus really, isn't it? Because cactuses do kind of survive anything but at least it kind of remains looking new looking fresh I mean it's pretty obvious it's fake but I like it so that one's just a simple one all green with kind of it's not purple it's kind of like browny blacky tips to some of these leaves and that is 
very small as you can see, fits in your hand. It's just a little one that can go right next to my computer that doesn't kind of get in my way because I don't want too many things around my computer because they just, I just end up like pushing them out of the way because I need the space. I need space around my computer. So that one just pops there. So this one's a little bit of a crazy one. I think it's the pot that made me get it. I really like the grey pot and I really wanted it. First of all, I put it in the bedroom. Yeah, our, our bedroom. I put this in our bedroom first on the windowsill. And when Jim got home from work, I opened the curtains and said, you know, do you like this? But I showed him everything and he liked everything else. And then I opened the curtains and showed him this and he was just like, no. And then I wasn't completely sure about it myself. So as soon as he said it, I was just like, I don't like it though, <laughs> I think we'll move it. But we've both warmed to it, being in this bedroom, being on the desk, it's nice and green and it's big and it's grey. I'm just going to show it you. Ta-da! See? See the grey pot? That's what, that's what I wanted. I know it's a giant, giant cactus. I understand that. I understand it looks a little bit odd. Um, and I can see why Jim didn't want it just on the windowsill, in the centre of our bedroom windowsill, just there. It was a little bit in your face. But I love it. I've warmed to it. I've definitely, I definitely like it now. <laughs> it's funky looking, you've got to admit. So yeah, it's kind of, again, like like sandy almost in the bottom. And then just, yeah, just a giant green cactus. Hopefully you can see in the footage that I slot in that it looks nice when it's in place on the desk and it doesn't look too crazy. And yeah, just adds a little bit of green to the room. There we go, that's everything. I hope that you think that the room looks better with pink added to it. Um, I'd love to know what kind of things you like to pair with grey, what kind of colours you like to pair with grey in the home and just any tips on anything home decor wise, anything interior design, anything to do with making your home look more modern because I absolutely am obsessed with doing it at the moment and hopefully soon on this channel um, during the summer months you'll see me doing a little bit more DIY kind of things around the home so because I do have some other things I need to do and it's such a shame that I started decorating my home mostly before I even started this channel um, but there's still things that I have found that I do want to update and there still will be things that I will be filming so yeah if you like that kind of thing please stick around and yeah I hope that you like the final shots I'll stick in in a moment for you to have a look at and see the finished room I think it's lovely I'm definitely definitely loving blush pink and loving Madeline Thank you for watching. I hope that you click on these as well and enjoy these two videos. Um, yeah, enjoy. Thank you very much. <laughs>